Hi, I'm Steve. Um, somebody asked me whether it's possible for the human brain to run out of storage space, like a computer might do if you put too many files on the hard drive. And the answer is obviously no, we don't find people wandering along who suddenly <laughs> totally blank and can't remember anything more from then on because their brains are full. Doesn't happen. What happens is your brain is constantly editing memories. It's deleting things you don't need to know. What you had for breakfast, January the 21st on you know, 2022, you don't remember. You can't remember because you threw it away, saved your memory space. But there are other things where we soften the memory gradually. I mean, I won't forget the day I got married, for example. That's always going to be there. It won't all be there, though. I mean, I've forgotten a lot about it. Like, I can't remember what car we went to the registry office in or anything like that. I do remember that the uh, the judge was a Mexican lady and uh, she couldn't pronounce my name. So she said, do you, Stefan Bachir, take this woman? <laughs> and those two words, Stefan Bachir, are the prominent memory for the whole day of my memory, of my marriage. At any rate, I think what's going on is that in our sleep, during REM sleep, the brain is going through our memories, uh, chucking out the garbage and simplifying things that don't need to be, need to be called, stored in, in, in full precision, like the day you were married, the day your kid was born, all those kind of major important days. Everything else gets softened and a lot of it gets deleted. And I think that's happening during REM sleep because it's probably doing something like you would with a computer would be to full, pull a disk file off the hard drive into computer memory, work on it there and then put it back on the hard drive afterwards. And the equivalent for humans is long-term storage and short-term memory. Short-term memory is good for about 18 seconds, and that's all. So if you pull the image of some old piece of stuff out of your long-term storage, put it into short-term storage, edit it, and then you're just about to put it back into long-term storage when you wake up. At which point in your short-term memory, which seems just like it just really happened, you have all these bits and pieces of garbage stitched together. And it's almost certain that's what a dream is. You're waking up in the middle of your brain sorting out your memories and simplifying them. And it does make perfect sense. Your short-term memory is only good for about 18 seconds. And it's true that if you wake up and don't seriously try to remember your dream, you'll forget it in 18 seconds before you have a chance to do anything about it. Isn't that fun? Yeah, not